again, my name is Gabe Zolno. This is the 11th of March, 2019. I'm going to title this video, Patience is not only a virtue, it could be a lifesaver. And the life you save could be your own. I had suggested that people stay off the new 737 MAX until we get the data from the black boxes. And I'm not the only one that has suggested that. Other people have suggested that as well. People in high places. I went ahead and I've done a little bit of research and I'm going to attach three different links. One link is of a B-2 crash and that plane crashed on takeoff. And the reason it crashed is because the nose of the aircraft pitched up due to a computer glitch. There was moisture on one of the contacts and the aircraft didn't pick up sufficient speed for proper lift based on the angle of attack. Once the plane came up like this, the angle of attack changed and the plane fell out of the sky. Fortunately, both pilots ejected safely. Now, the two crashes that just took place with these Indonesia flights they both experienced difficulties on takeoff. And after the first crash, Boeing issued a special bulletin telling operators what to do when faced with a similar situation. In one of the articles that I'm going to attach, Boeing said this morning there was no need to issue new guidance to operators of its 737 MAX aircraft based on investigation so far. But what appears is that both planes experienced similar difficulties. Now the most recent accident gets a little confusing because eyewitnesses said they saw baggage falling out of the plane, they saw smoke coming out of the plane before it crashed. Don't know what that's all about, but if you watch one of my first videos and as I said it might have been a bomb because there was no communication between the airplane, the pilots, and the towers. But that's not what this other article says. It says that there was. The pilot said he had to return. We don't know what else was said. But what we also know is that data revealed the plane's vertical speed, the rate of climber descent, was unstable. It varied from 2,624 feet per minute to minus 1,216 feet within minutes of takeoff. So it's erratic. That doesn't happen on airplanes. Now, What's interesting is the vertical speed, again, went from 2,624 feet to 1,216 feet. The airspeed indicator has an angle of attack sensor. If that sensor becomes inoperable, the pilot has no way of knowing what the proper angle of attack is and the computers will try to correct what the pilot might not even be aware of. Folks, I'm a private pilot. I have two friends that are transport pilots. My son flew 737s. He's an airline pilot. He now flies the 767. Airplanes don't just fall out of the sky and they don't take off and do one of these. That isn't at all normal. Again, what's confusing here is what eyewitnesses said they saw, but eyewitnesses are quite often wrong. The data on those recorders is critical. They also found the one that went in the ocean. They found the recorders. So, my advice is stay off those 737 maxes until 
we know what the problem is. Both of these airplanes experience similar takeoff situations. Both ended in disaster. In one of these links, you're going to see the faces of some of those people that are now no longer with us. If this is an inherent problem with these aircraft, if in fact the angle of attack sensor is the culprit, Boeing might soon go out of business with the massive lawsuits they're going to experience. I'm not suggesting that is the issue. I'm simply stating it's a possibility. Airplanes don't fall out of the sky. They either get blown out of the sky or they've got an unbelievable mechanical malfunction. Can't make this stuff up. Take a look at all three of these links. What's interesting is Boeing put out a notice after the first aircraft went in telling people how to people meaning pilots, how to handle this kind of situation if it occurs. And now they're saying there's no need to issue new guidance to operators. Well, what they should issue is shut it down. Stop flying these airplanes because we don't know what the problem is. And that's why we need the data of those recorders. They'll tell us what component failed. And if it's the angle of attack sensors, remember that flight? It was a large transport flight coming across the Atlantic Ocean. It was lost for about a year and a half. And when we finally found the wreckage, they determined what the problem was. The pitot tubes were defective. It happens, folks. Aviation is a hell of a lot of fun. But when it goes bad, it goes real bad. Take a look at the articles. Look at the photographs. Let me know what you think. I'll keep you posted as best as I can based on what I learned. Thanks for listening.